Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here with another uh, journey video as we go through Psalm 23. So glad you've been joining us over the past few weeks. Uh, we're almost done, finally almost out of this. Uh, but we thank God that he has been blessing us to uh, share these quick nuggets with you um, over the past few weeks. And we hope that you will please share, comment, follow me on my platforms if you can. Of course, follow the church, follow Bishop. Um, we're just believing God that everything that is done as a ministry yeah, will bless your life. So we're finally in, in verse six today and went through how he anoints your head with oil. And he says, surely, indeed, surely, indeed. This is just guarantee. No doubt about it. This is it's just been happening and it's going to continue to happen. There's no doubt that goodness and mercy are following us. The goodness of God. Good, the goodness of God. Goodness meaning pleasant, agreeable. When you think of God's goodness, I want you to think of pleasant. I want you to think of agreeable. I also want you to think of God's benefits. So the benefits of God is God's goodness. What's pleasant is God's goodness. And you notice that uh, this goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our life, meaning that no matter what we experience, the benefits of God, the pleasantness of God, the, what's agreeable to God is always with us. It speaks of joyful and welfare and pleasing, which means no matter where we are, the goodness of God, the benefits of God will continue to follow us everywhere that we go. And it's often when we're in something difficult that we don't recognize the goodness of God in it. It's only till we come out of it that we look back and recognize when I ask God, where is his goodness? He's been good to me the whole entire time. And we need to learn to see the goodness of the Lord in whatever we're experiencing. The psalmist said, I believe that we will live to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. As long as you're still alive, you are experiencing the benefits of God. God has goodness for you, benefits for you, following you, guarding you, protecting you from, from, from things that want to come from behind. God is protecting you. It's like the, uh, the sheepdogs that are behind the flock. That's the goodness of God working in your life. I want you to know the benefits of God are constantly following you. Look for the benefits. Look for God's welfare and good things in your life. I'm not saying that every day is going to be perfect in the way you want it. But what I mean is that you can have a day from hell, but God's goodness will be in that day. Those days where you wonder, God, where were you? Where are you? What's going on? All this stuff is happening. But you have to recognize that God can and reve will reveal his goodness in what you're experiencing. I learned something this, this, this week that uh, God will oftentimes allow these parallel things to happen. We see the movement and outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 2 in God adding to the church and growing the church and favoring the church and then almost parallel to the movement of the spirit is persecution, martyrdom, people being in prison, all these things that are happening parallel at the same time and one doesn't cancel out the other. But the goodness of God, the movement of the spirit will overcome the persecution that's sent by the enemy. And I want you to know that just because this parallel of bad is happening, don't let this parallel of bad cause you to ignore the parallel line of the goodness of God being revealed in your life. And no matter what goes on, the goodness of the Lord, like Peter when he was in prison, will find you and can deliver you out of the worst situations. Look for the goodness of God. So glad you joined us this morning. Uh, we'll see you next time for another video as we journey through Psalm 23.